Any other problems? Yeah. On top of everything else, I can't send a patrol on a bathroom break without it being ambushed by someone who heard they were coming. So somebody's getting the word out. I can look into who's leaking NCR intelligence. Hmm. Well, why not? Given your recent arrival, at least I can safely rule you out as the leak. I'd like to have absolute trust in my men, but that's just not practical right now. Go ahead and look into it. See what you find. Thank you. We don't have much to go on right now. Lately, every raiding party in New Vegas seems to have a map of our troop movements. It derails everything. Supplies, reinforcements. And it'll only get worse the longer we let it go on. Captain Curtis is heading up the investigation right now. He can fill you in. All right. Later. Bye. Let's go find this Captain Curtis. Hmm. Nice to meet you. I'm Curtis. Uh, okay, Captain. Colonel Shu wanted me to help you into the recent intelligence leak. Smart man. I could use somebody who can operate under the radar around here. Whoever our mole is, he's been slippery. Whenever one of the MPs gets too close, he changes his habits. Our last leak went cold weeks ago. All right. Where should I start? You want my advice? Start by talking to people with a lot of eyes in the field. People like Lieutenant Boyd or Sergeant Contreras, maybe. Careful with Contreras, though. He's not above suspicion himself. Hmm. Keep me apprised of any leads you get. This guy's gotten a lot of my men killed. I'm just itching to return the favor. Okay. What do you do here? Officially, I'm in charge of Bravo Company. But since General Oliver has Bravo and most of our forces here garrison. I'm free to do other things. So I work with Colonel Shu on logistics, patrols, supply lines, reinforcements, that sort of thing. Lately, it's been less about that, and more about figuring out how that information is getting leaked to raiders. It's a big base with a lot of unhappy soldiers. They get stir-crazy. Hard to separate the malcontents from the actual culprit. Uh-huh. All right, I'll look into it. Later. Later. Talk with Boyd. The office is empty. So let's look around where we got. Boyd's in there with a the prisoner right now. Boy, is she pissed. All right, all right, I got it. You still got like a sore thumb around here. You sure you're in the right place? <laughs> Who are you? Not big on reading name tags, huh? That's okay. My name is long and difficult to pronounce. Ready for it? It's Boyd. Lieutenant Boyd to my friends. Colonel Shu has me handling the policing duties for the base. I've told him he could make my job a whole lot easier if he would just let me shoot anyone who talks back to me. But you know how colonels can be. Yeah, I just got to talking to him. Um, have you noticed anything suspicious lately? No, what kind of MP would I be if I didn't notice anything suspicious? I've had soldiers go AWOL, break-ins, thefts, you name it. Alright, tell me about the break-ins. Maybe break-in isn't the right word. We didn't find signs of forced entry. 
but I've had reports of someone sneaking into the control tower at night. It's probably just a meeting spot for a steamy military base love affair. Kids today. But it bothers me that they didn't break in. It means they have an access code. Most soldiers around the base don't have that. Hmm.